pussy calls me. And when the nigga start hating, that's when the nigga lost me. Fantastical, that's what the hoes call me. Mizuma TV back with some more fighting news. All right, guys, shout out to Fight Hype for releasing this video that I had just came across along my subscriptions. And uh, according to Fight Hype, there is something in the works between a potential fight between Adrian the Problem Broner and Mikey Garcia in July. So that's in two months from now, a little bit less than two months. Uh, I seen on I seen online that Mikey Garcia is in camp. And I've seen that Adrian Broner is like shaking the cobwebs off, you know, uh, getting back into the groove of boxing, probably trying to get some weight up because, you know, he's been partying. He liked to drink and shit, so he's probably a little bit heavy. Uh, yeah, so both of those guys are in the gym, you know. Uh, Fight Hype said that Mikey Garcia is currently in camp right now, so they're definitely uh, in the works of making a fight happen. He said he's coming back in July. Uh, both of these guys are currently you know, getting back into the groove of boxing. So uh, I doubt this is coincidental. I, de I definitely think that uh, Al Heyman and Mikey Garcia, because he's independent, I don't believe he has a manager. I think he's he does everything on his own. And if he does have a manager, please let me know who he is. But uh, from what I know, he's not signed to Al Heyman. So uh, he left top rank, and now he's been on his own. So... Al Heyman is probably in the works with Mikey Garcia's team. And hopefully we can see this fight happen, man. This is a really solid fight. You know, uh, Adrian Broner already proven himself as a champion. Four-time uh, champion of four different weight classes. Now, who he beat for those titles, that that's not uh, anything incredible. But nonetheless, he's a four-time world champion. And uh, Mikey Garcia has beat some real solid people. Uh... And I think he came down, I think he came from 126, so currently he's a three-time world champion. Uh, 126, 130, and 135. And uh, Mikey Garcia was making some noise that whole time he had been with top rank. Went through some legal troubles. Uh, took a couple years off from what I remember. And uh, he's back, and now he's a WBC lightweight champion after uh, knocking out cold Dehans Latishanen. So, uh... Mikey Garcia is back on the rise. He's on my pound for pound list. Y'all can check it out. Uh, Adrian Brody is not on my pound for pound list, but there's nobody. He's nobody to be uh, slept on. You know what I'm saying? And it has been shown when you try when you when you try to sleep on Adrian Brody, he can't hurt you. He hurt Mar Marcos Maidana at one point in the fight with a body shot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, Sean Porter let off the gags and he got dropped with a nasty left hook. Now they could say that's because of the weight, whatever. But uh, nonetheless, he dropped Sean Porter. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people blame it on the catchweight. But a knockdown is a knockdown. And at the end of the day, Sean Porter didn't have to go all the way down there. He didn't have to take the fight, you know. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, he's been doing his thing, man. Uh, Mikey Garcia, speaking of Mikey Garcia. And uh, Adrian Broner just came off of a tough fight with Adrian Granados. Uh but nonetheless, he got the W. Some people found it to be controversial, but it is what it is, man. Um, I really like this fight, but um, I, I just think that Mikey Garcia may be too much for Adrian Broner. But it all, it all depends on the weight class, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what I think uh, will be the determining factor on who wins. If uh, Adrian Broner, he, he says he can make 135. He said that in an interview recently, but he hasn't shown it. He was supposed to fight Granados at 140. It didn't happen. So let's just see what weight class this whole fight is in. Nonetheless, it's a great fight. Y'all guys, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. This is Mizuma TV. Subscribe to your boy, and I'm out. Appreciate y'all.